particular lesson is composed. So, yan. So, wait lang. Okay. So, here. So, let's continue. This will be your objectives class. Ay pa? So, number one, you have to identify the other members of the solar system. So, define and describe an asteroid, a comet, and a meteoroid. Ay pa? So, number two, you're going to identify the classification and origin of the different types of asteroids. Okay? Kasi, iba-iba yung types ng asteroids depends on which they come from. Okay po? So, number three, so we have, uh, you have to identify the different parts of a comet. So, you need to compare between a meteoroid or among meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite. Okay po? So, these are other members of the solar system. Okay po? So, yun yung pag-uusapan natin basically about meteoroid, meteorite, um, asteroid. Okay? So, meteor then. Okay? So, yeah. So, you know the solar system, di ba? Kung ano yung itsura ng solar system. Kasi, um, since you were in elementary, uh, pinag-uusapan na natin yung solar system. Okay po? So, meron tayo ditong tinatawag na near-earth Objects. So, pag sinabing near-Earth objects, um, malapit siya sa Earth. Okay po? So, these are actually objects in the outer space such as asteroids, comets, meteors. Okay? So, these are um, the NEO. Okay? NEO. Sorry. So, these are actually the NEO. Sorry, hindi ko na i-share sa inyo. Okay pa. So, so, yan. So, repeat natin. Okay pa. So, para at least hindi kayo. Okay. So, here are your objectives. So, yan. So, naka-flash sa screen. So, pakibasa na lang. Okay. So, okay. So, the NEO are objects in the space such as the asteroids, comets, and meteors. Okay po? So, they also include small orbiting bodies that move near Earth. Okay? A certain small orbiting body is considered a NEO if it moves near the Sun. Okay? So, malapit sa ano? Uh, malapit sa Earth. Okay? And it also moves um, or orbits near the Sun. Okay po? So, these are NEO. Tandaan po yung NEO. NEO are asteroids, comets, and meteors. Okay? So, yan. So, let's talk first about asteroids. Okay? So, asteroids are irregularly shaped fragments of rocks that orbit the sun. Pag sinabing irregular, there's no distinct shape. Okay? Okay? So, walang distinct shape yung asteroid. Okay? Po, unlike planets na... Um, spherical, near to spherical. Okay, so asteroids are irregularly shaped. Okay, so they are also known class as microplanets. Kasi malilet sila as compared to planets. Because, and because they have their orbits which usually are elliptical. So, yan, elliptical din siya as compared with the, ano, as compared with the planets. Okay, difference is they are small. Okay? And they are irregularly shaped. Okay po? These are asteroids. Okay? So, this is one uh, picture showing um, asteroids. Okay po? So, asteroids can be found in what you called as the asteroid belt. So, asteroid belt, so along with the planets, di ba? We have planets starting from the sun. We have Mercury, Venus, Mars, I Earth, uh, Mars, Jupiter. Okay, so kinakanta. Meron nga yan kanta. Okay po? So, yung asteroid belt natin, it's in between ma uh, Mars and Jupiter. Okay, so kung titignan nyo dito, uh, it's in between Earth or Mars. Okay, Mars and Jupiter. So, that 
that is what you can that is where you can find um, numerous asteroids okay po so madami diyang asteroids in between that planet so that um, it is called as the asteroid belt so around millions of asteroids orbit in this belt okay so so yeah there are different kinds of ano um, asteroids diba some of the asteroids are are included in the ring of Jupiter Okay, kasi malabi bagang rings yung Jupiter. Okay po? So, that's in between. Okay? So, remember the asteroid belt. Okay po? So, there are many types of ano, uh, asteroids. So, number one, it's according to composition. Ano ba yung laman ng asteroid na yun? Okay? So, so, meron tayong C-type asteroid. So, it has a similar composition with the Sun's composition which is depleted in hydrogen, helium, and other volatiles. Okay po? So, that is the C-type asteroid. Okay? So, the second one, we have the S-type asteroid. Okay? So, this one is relatively bright and is made up of silicate materials and nickel iron. Okay? So, it dominates the inner asteroid belt. So, just like um, some so, some sort of earth, kasi yung earth natin is also com uh, composed of silicate materials and nickel and iron. Okay po? So, that is the S-type of, uh, S-type asteroid. It dominates the inner asteroid belt. Okay, so C-type, S-type, we have M-type. So, the M-type includes the rest of the known asteroids. So, it is known as the metallic. Kaya nga siya M-type kasi metallic. So, they are also bright in color. So, the composition of an M-type asteroid is dominated by nickel and iron. You know that ano, nickel and iron are, uh, are both metals. So, it inhabits the main belt's middle region. Okay, so uh, middle region siya. Okay, so tandaan po, these are the classification. C-type, okay, so C-type asteroid, S-type, S-type kasi silicate materials, and the M-type kasi metallic. Okay, so yan. Okay, S-type kasi may silicate. Ito, M-type metallic, composed of nickel and iron. So, main belt, uh, middle yung metallic, M, middle. S-type, we have silicate that is the inner asteroid belt. Okay? So, yeah. So, these are examples class. Okay? So, we have here the 250, um, 253 Matilde, uh, a C-type asteroid. Okay, so, yan, a C-type asteroid. So, ano nga yung C-type? So, yan. So, sa, same thing with the sun's composition, which is depleted in hydrogen, helium, and other volatiles. Okay? So, yan. We have also the 433 Eros, an S-type asteroid. That means this contains silicate, nickel, and iron. Okay? So, we have also the 21 Lutetia an M-type asteroid. Okay, so this one is composed of nickel and iron that dominates the middle band of the asteroid belt. So these are examples of asteroids um, according to the composition. Okay, so yan. So what about location? So kanina, composition, ngayon naman location. Okay, so we identify... Um, asteroid by its location Kasi meron tayong Number one Main belt asteroids These are asteroids orbit In the main asteroid belt Okay So main asteroid belt So these are called the main Belt asteroids O oh, yan, so uh, very obvious naman Main belt asteroids kasi nasa main belt na Asteroids Next we have the near earth Asteroids or the Nea. Okay po. So, they have uh, orbits which approach Earth. Okay, so ito yung mga asteroids na uh, nakikita natin every year or every couple of years. Okay, so kasi um, yung ob orbit nila, uh, it, um, it nearly approaches the Earth. Okay po. 
So, tinatawag itong uh, mirror or asteroids. Okay? So, di ba, uh, uh, for some other time pag nababalita. So, halimbawa, um, in, for example, in January 26, So, mawi-witness ng, ng, ano, ng Pilipinas ngayon, for example, or ng buong mundo, yung isang asteroid na, na nag-orbit. Okay? So, since it's elliptical, you cannot always see that. Okay po? So, there are only times na makikita mo siya very in close contact okay, with the Earth. There are times naman hindi mo siya makikita kasi it's far from the Earth since the orbit is elliptical. Okay po? So, pero, uh, basically, yung mga malapit sa Earth na orbit, okay, they are called Nea. Okay? So, yan. So, we have also class the Trojans. Okay? So, Trojans or asteroids that share an orbit with a larger object. Okay? So, ano yung larger object na yun? For example, yung Plu um, for example, yung Jupiter. Okay po. So they they are called Trojans. So so they do not collide with the planet because of their um space special location in orbit. Okay? So basta parang sumasabay sila sa planeta. Okay? Umiikot sila sa sun but sumasabay sila sa isang planeta. So these are actually called as Trojans. Okay? So Trojans. Huwag pong kalimutan ha. the MBA main belt asteroids we have the NEA near earth asteroid and the Trojans okay so yan so let's talk about comet okay so comet is an icy body that releases gas or dust okay pa so siya yung ano yung gas and dust um kapag lumalapit yun sa sa sun since it's icy So, mag evaporate yun. We, um, pag malapit na siya sa sun, so ito yung naging itsura niya. It forms tail. Okay po? So, a beautiful one. Okay po? So, scientists call them dirty snowballs because they are made of frozen gases that are held together in rocky and metallic materials. Yung comet kasi, ano siya, um, since very elliptical yung orbit niya, so... Um, there are times na malayong malayo siya sa sun Kaya yung gas na yon nag-form siya into ice Yung gas and dust So, na-frozen siya Kasi um, ang trend yan kapag malayo ka sa sun The more and more kang malayo sa sun uh, Mas malamig Okay? So, yan So, kapag lumapit sa sun Yung na-frozen na ice and gas and dust So, Parang masusunog siya, mababurn siya pag malapit na sa sun. So, it forms a tail like this one. Okay pa? So, yan. So, wait. Let's talk about the classification naman ng comet. Okay? So, um, these are classified based on their orbital period. So, meron tayong orbital period. Pag sinabing period class, kung gaano katagal, gaano kadali. Okay? So, short period comets are those comets that take less than 200 years. Okay? To complete a single orbit around the sun. Okay? So, these are called short period comets. Okay? Less than. Less than 200. O, ibig sabihin, kapag 155, so this is classified as short period comets. Okay? So, ano yung example nun? So, di ba yung Earth, it orbits... Not, not, ano, not, ano, uh, it orbits just one year. Okay? Compare mo yan sa 200 years. So, one is to 200. Masyadong mataas yung gap. Okay? So, so, yan. 200 years to complete. Okay? So, less than that, you are close, uh, they are called as short period comets. Okay? Kaya, there are comets class na Uh, once in a lifetime mo lang witness Or there are also comments na never mo siyang ma, ma witness in a lifetime. Okay? Kasi yung average, ano natin, average um, lifespan's around 74-75. Okay? So, so, if it's 195, so hindi mo siyang witness ng dalawang beses. Okay po? So, these are short period, com uh, short period comments. Pero there are also comments naman class na ano, na 
uh, there are comments na yearly natin na we witness or every after couple of years. Okay? So, long period comets are those that take hundreds of thousands of years just to take a single orbit around the sun. Okay? Hundreds of thousands of years. Imagine that. Okay? So, yan po ang long period comets. Okay? So, ito na yung mga malayo na. Masyado ng, masyado ng elliptical. Okay? Um, it's beyond Pluto yung kanilang orbit. Okay? So, these are long period comets. Okay, let's talk about its part. Kasi if you look at this, ano, if you look at this picture, so meron siyang head, meron siyang tail. Okay, so tignan natin yung part niya in a di 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 diagram. Okay po? So meron siyang parts. We have nucleus, we have coma, we have head. Okay, yung nucleus, yung pinaka-main. Yung pinaka-bato niya. Okay, so that is the nucleus. Yung nasa gitna. Yung bilog na yan. Okay? So, that is the nucleus. Okay? Yung coma is a halo of evaporated gas and dust that surround the nucleus. Pag sinabing halo, para siyang ano, uh, maliwanag lang siya. Okay? So, imagine nyo ninyo yung ano. Imagine ninyo yung nag-evaporate na, na, na ice and dust. Okay, so hindi naman siya actually ano, yung basta yung pinakagitna yun yung nucleus around 1 to 10 kilometers. Tapos yung coma, yung nakapalibot sa nucleus na ano, um, na, na gas. Okay? So the head is composed of coma. Sorry. Um, the head is composed of coma and its um, nucleus. Yun na yung pinakaulo ng coma. Okay? So dalawa yan. Um, ang head, composed siya ng nucleus and coma. Okay? So, we have also dust tail. So, the dust tail is the tail that always faces away from the sun. Okay? So, halimbawa, this one is the earth. I, for example, this one is um, this one is the sun. Nandito yung sun. Sun rays. So, yung tail na pa-away, palabas, palayo sa sun, Okay, you call that as the dust tail. Okay, the ion tail is made up of electrically uh, charged gas. So, it's also called as the plasma or gas tail. So, dalawa. We have the dust tail which is away from, from the sun. Okay, so we have also the ion tail which is an electrically charged gas or the plasma tail or gas tail. Okay, so yeah. So, yan. What about naman meteoroids? So, meteoroids are boulders and the rocks in the space. Pag sinabing uh, boulders, malaking tipak ng bato. Okay? So, but these meteoroids are actually part of, of asteroids. Okay? Pag may nag-collide na dalawang asteroids, so, this forms uh, meteoroids. Pero unlike asteroids, meteoroids do not remain in certain region. Okay? So hindi sila um, hindi sila ano, hindi sila um, parang nakokontento sa isang orbit. Okay? So they they don't remain in a certain region. So but um, like like asteroids, they come in an irregular um, shapes. Okay? So yun po yung meteoroids. Okay? So what about naman na ano? Uh, changes in meteoroids. So, when a meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, so it burns up and appears like blazing rock old meteors. Okay? So, yan. Pag yung meteoroid, di ba sabi ko, since the uh, meteoroids, hindi sila, ano, hindi, hindi sila nagre-remain sa certain region. When this meteoroid enter the Earth's atmosphere, di ba yung atmosphere ng Earth, we have troposphere, So, yun dun yun sa IG nyo. Um, tropo, strato, meso, thermo, exo. Limang layers yan yung ano natin. Yung atmosphere natin. Okay? So, pag nag-enter siya sa atmosphere, especially class, especially sa, sa, sa malamig na part ng atmosphere, which is the mesosphere. So, magkakaroon ng friction um, yung sa mesosphere, since malamig siya, 
and yung meteoroid since mabilis yung kanyang ano mabilis yung kanyang um, speed so it will form or mab mabiburn yung meteoroid um, ang tawag na natin doon class is the meteor okay so once a meteor survives halimbawa nasunog siya pero may natira papunta siya sa earth or it hits the ground o, term na doon meteorite Okay, so yun. Tandaan nyo yung pagkakaiba ng tatlo ha. Magkakaparehas yung meteoroid, uh, meteor, tsaka meteorite. They are all the same. However, nagkakaiba lang sila class um, on the location. Kapag nasa outer space, uh, meteoroid. Kapag nasa Earth's atmosphere, meteor. Tandaan ha. Kapag nag-survive yun at nag-hit sa ground ng Earth, you call that as meteorite. Okay? So, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, class, na ay, may napulot akong meteor. Ay, may napulot akong meteorite kasi that should be termed as meteorite. Hindi mo siya pwedeng sabihin na ay, may nakita akong meteorite. Okay? Hindi mo, ba, hindi, hindi mo siya pwedeng sabihin meteorite kasi nasa atmosphere pa siya. Okay? So, tapos nag-telescope ka, ay, may nakita akong meteor. Hindi mo siya pwede makasabihing meteor kapag hindi pa siya nasa atmosphere ng Earth. Okay po? So, they are all the same thing. However, they differed um, based its location. Okay po? Meteoroid in outer space. Meteor in Earth, um, Earth's atmosphere. Meteorite in Earth's ground or surface. Okay po? So, those are the differences. Okay, so remember the, th um, the, ne um, the NEOS or the near-Earth objects. We have asteroids. Okay, we have comets. We have meteor, meteoroids, and meteorites. So, wag pong kakalimutan. Okay, so ito, let's identify. Okay, so number one, kapag nasa Earth surface, it's called as, it's called as what? Okay, it's meteorite. Okay, kapag nasa Earth's um, atmosphere, so it's termed as, okay, meteor. Okay, kapag nasa, eto Earth's atmosphere yan, namali lang, na typo. Kapag nasa outer space, it's termed as meteoroid. Okay po, um, huwag kakalimutan yung differences among uh, meteoroid, meteor, and meteorite. So, yan. Okay? So, okay, so, yan. So, what do you think are the ways we can do to defend Earth in case of in case there is an impending asteroid collision to the planet. Okay? So, kasi yung asteroid, falimbawa, napipredict naman yan ng mga, ng mga scientists na mga nag-aaral sa mga asteroid. Napipredict man yan, napipredict naman yan kung siya ay magkukulide um, sa Earth. Halimbawa, it, um, kasi yung asteroid or yung halimbawa malaking meteorite na mag ano sa Earth, pwedeng tumama sa Earth, um, there are many, ano, there are many uh, danger. Kung masyado malaki, pwedeng, pwedeng ma-eliminate yung life uh, life forms dito sa Earth. Pwedeng masira yung Earth. Or kung hindi naman siya kasyadong kalakihan, pwede namang magkaroon ng tsunami, magkaroon ng uh, mag-collapse yung isang particular country. So, depende yun. There are many dangers whenever asteroid um mag magcollide siya with earth pero um, what do you think are the ways that we can do for example um napipredict na natin siya na platama siya sa earth okay so malayo pa lang so pwede nating ano pwede nating bombahin okay ng nuclear bomb okay so padala natin siya sa outer space um to um specifically to change the orbit probably or pwedeng wasakin yung asteroid so there are um, that's, that is just one ano, um, that's just one solution I think of how we can um, defend Earth from, from an asteroid collision okay po? so that's one way so also with you um, you can ano, you can message 
you can chat kung ano yung possible solution nyo. Um, halimbawa, Earth is going to collide with a particular asteroid. Though Earth is bigger than asteroid, so nakakatakot pa din yan. Okay pa? So, yan. So, you can message me na lang um, how are you going to uh, give me a solution kung paano. So, dito sa chat box. Okay? So, that's one uh, 